there welcome to Lara La Butte if you're new if you're not new welcome back to the channel thanks so much for watching hope you're having a good Sunday if you're watching this on the day that I post I post on Thursday and Sunday yeah so this is a more kind of subdued makeup I did for a workplace kind of thing or well I don't have like restrictions on what makeup to do <laughs> on a daily basis but if I did I thought I'd just do something kind of subtle but still a bit glamorous so this is what I've done if you're interested in seeing how this kind of panned out, worked its way to this, keep watching. Thumbs up the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subbed and to click the notification bell if you want to know exactly when I post. Okay, so I'll start with a bit of skin prepping, kind of prime before I go in with the makeup. First, I'll use the Beauty Elixir. It's from Quarterly and I've only had this for about a week and... I love it so I can say that I already like this. I think I tend to use a bit more than I actually need but it is so kind of minty it feels nice. Yeah it's very spa feeling a bit calming very minty and I'm actually excited to use a bit more of the quarterly product because this is the first thing that I'm trying out. I got the small one which is about 30 mils I just like to do that when I'm trying out a product. I don't like to go full size because just in case I don't like it. Going into moisturize next I'll use the skin smoothing cream from Dermalogica. Yeah. <laughs> okay so I'm actually running out of this. <gasps> so Prime, baby, prime. I'll use a makeup primer. Um, if you want to, you don't have to. If you don't want to, uh, some people think it's useless. I always prime my face, so it's just up to you. This is from The Ordinary. It's the High Spreadability Primer. So this is one that I've been loving. So this has this little dropper. I always make sure, or I try to make sure that I don't kind of spill it out. So let's go there. Let's do two drops there. Two drops there. Two drops. Just get one more. Yeah. Okay, so that's the primer on. I always prime. I think it makes my makeup last longer. I think I can actually tell the difference between when I prime and when I don't. So foundation is the face and body from Dior in 4.5 W. So this is my current go-to. I think I've mentioned this more than once. So kind of um learned how to estimate how much i need so i kind of start with that much i'll use a beauty blender and like to put it on with my finger first um i don't usually like to dip like this because i th i think it just sucks into the sponge immediately so that's just me i don't know <laughs> i don't know if that's actually true so just kind of blend this in on one side first and then i'll work my way to this side I think I noticed that I do the um, like the perimeter of my face first or lately that's what I've been doing because I think it's a good place to start and then I just you know I don't like to have too much foundation going on around my nose so it's really just leftovers from a sponge that I go around my nose with and add a bit more coverage if I need it so I need it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's all blended in. Um, I'd say this is a really good work foundation. It's quite light, um, very buildable and lasts all day. Unless you wanted something a bit more luminous because this gives a matte finish. So if you wanted something a bit more luminous, like a glowier foundation, the Pro Glow foundation from um, L'Oreal, that's good. Um, the Luminous Silk one from Giorgio Armani, that's nice, I think. I think Anastasia. Beverly Hills, they came out with a, um, I think it's a luminous and I think it's pretty luminous foundation just recently, uh, probably last week. Yeah, so, so much to choose from, but um, we're going with this one today. So speaking of luminosity, I forgot to use this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I always, always, always use this in my makeup. It's just a crucial step. It adds a nice, youthful, um, healthy glow. It actually says that I think it's for a superstar, like healthy glow or something like that. So I actually use this. On top of my foundation because I can't not use it it's in it's in dark tan so that's the shade just go with a bit of this on top because I do love it 
Let's just go there. A bit there. Hmm. So because the foundation is matte, I don't think I'll have a problem. I think this is actually going to kind of blend. I've used a bit too much, but I do want a bit of extra glow. I don't usually go with it on my nose because I don't like too much um, luminosity on my nose. But yeah, we'll just kind of blend this in. So instant glow. Okra? Okra? I tend to look this way because there's actually a big mirror which I love to use so that's why I might look from time to time I might look right so yeah so I'll use the Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer to conceal under my eyes to highlight as well nothing new here this is my favorite absolute favorite of all the um, concealers that I've ever used, I always preach about this. So the shade is butterscotch. So I'll just go with this under my eye first and just do the usual areas that I highlight and conceal. So just a bit under my eyes, I like to go like that. Um, and this will keep you covered all day and just give you a nice awake kind of look. I know that everybody doesn't have time to do the whole makeup routine. And I think that powders actually are a lot faster to use, but I always like to cream contour, cream highlight. I like to put everything on. Usually I'll put everything on and then go in with my um, cream contour and then just blend all of it out. I'll just put some there as well. So to contour, this is all I use. This is the Naked Skin Shapeshifter. It's from Urban Decay. This is my whole contour. Um, routine in this I'll actually make a video just about this because I really do love this and anyone with a medium to deep kind of vibe skin will love this I think um, they actually do a lighter one so this is a medium dark one they have a light one or a light to medium one as well so watch out for a review about this thing I'm actually looking for a brush yeah so this has the uh, powders on one side like this and you've got the creams here on the bottom I'll actually go in with the darkest color here to contour with this is a cream one sometimes i skip this uh part i just powder contour but um i usually have time to do this so i'm one of those people that wakes up i wake up super early always have i think i'm just a morning person but um i like to wake up early take my time do my makeup um you know listen to something music or just anything watch youtube videos on the side get ready with me is that kind of thing I always wonder if people actually get ready with the person who's getting ready you know just because <laughs> what I usually do is I, I put on the get ready with me but we'll do a completely different look to each other but I like I like when people do their makeup while they talk and just if they talk about something that I want to hear about so I like that so that's what I usually do and I usually go in with a powder in my nose I don't cream contour my nose nine times out of ten yeah so that's usually how I watch the get ready with me so I actually get ready with the person but not usually the same look and now that I think about it I don't even follow makeup tutorials you know I just watch the person doing their makeup I don't know how people watch YouTube videos I think everyone watches them differently so I've never actually sat down to follow a <laughs> tutorial but I'll pick up bits and pieces from like what colors go together and how they blend stuff like that so that's how I watch the um, makeup tutorial Obviously I leave my under eye for last cause just to let it dry, you know, gives more coverage. I don't go all the way up cause um, Charlotte Tilbury said, <laughs> yeah, Charlotte Tilbury told me. <laughs> no, um, I was watching a video and actually she recommended that you don't blend too far up because it might look a bit puffy, which I think is true. You know, like when you take the concealer all the way in. So I like to leave that kind of dark line there. So yeah. So I've just blended out the contour on this side. That's what I love about the um, the creams from this shapeshifter. They uh, blend out so easily and I've used my sponge for this whole process because I don't mind that there's foundation on the sponge. It actually makes everything blend out um, more evenly. Sometimes I do use brushes. I actually love, love, love to blend with brushes. But um, today I'm just blending everything with my sponge. 
Right, so I'll just go ahead and set everything with a bit of powder. Um, I managed to straighten my hair this week. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Because I don't like straightening my hair. I don't like to, I, I can wash it, but um, to blow dry it and then start to straighten it. Eh, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I wish you could hire someone to do that, to straighten it for you. Um, I think you can, can't you? It's hairdressers do that for you. But I mean, someone that I didn't have to pay. Okay. Anyway, I'll set with this. This is the Banana Deep Powder. It's from Makeup Revolution. Recently discovered this. Kind of like it. Um, as long as you don't use too much because... Sometimes it tends to look a bit cakey, so I'll just do this just a bit there on my hand. Again, I'll just tap that concealer in, push a bit of the powder in. I don't bake. I just push a bit of the powder up my nose a bit and usually just the places where I highlight, so just a bit there. And I like to go in here as well because I tend to sweat there first, so just like that kind of like to just tap some off my brush like this sweep it down to here just to make the contour pop i like to go in with the mineralized skin finish natural from mac in dark tan which is never Mist, like I never ever miss this step. I like the airbrushed look that it gives me just a bit. And once again, I go in the naked skin shape shifter. I do, I take this one, I don't use this unless I'm powder contouring alone. But when I've gone in with a cream first, I like to use this one, so that's what I'm going to do. Take a bit of this. I'm going to first tap it on and then lightly go on like this. Nice. Add a bit of this to my nose as well because like I said, I don't cream contour my nose. I just like to use a bit of powder on here. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's usually the face done. It kind of seems as if it's like my usual makeup that I do, but <laughs> I think the eyes and lips is what really makes the... Um... Actually, if you want, you can go ahead and use a bit of blush. I think I'll just add a bit of blush. So this is Fever from MAC. Love this. Use it all the time. And I will just add a bit of this to the old cheeks. <laughs> Yeah. Dust it up. Dust it on. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes if it looks a bit powdery at this point, I go back in with a bit of like a hydrating mist, a bit of rose water even, or the Mario Badescu. So I'll use the this quarterly spray that I used initially. So I just spray a bit of that on, especially around here, can look a bit powdery and dry. And if you don't want a very matte look, I'll just leave it here, forget about anything else, the face is done. But I want my look to last a bit longer and I want it a bit matte, so I'll go in with the, um, the Revolution spray. This is the Matte Fix spray. Okay, so that's set. So I'll just come in closer for the eye shadow and all of the um, eye stuff. So I'll just do my brows with a bit of eyebrow pencil. So this is my usual um, beauty supply store pencil. I'll just prime using the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Caffeine. This is my usual um, eyeshadow primer or whatever primer that you use. So I'll just go in with this one. So yeah, just blending that in. You can use your fingers, but I like to use a brush. Okay, so this is a really simple look, which most kind of work eye looks are, um, because I, I think that's just preferred, especially if you know you 
rush in the morning or just because you don't sometimes your work doesn't want you to wear like a really loud eye look um unless you work at mac or urban decay because the girls there really like to put on i love that i love to see <laughs> i don't know i like to go on anyway getting lost in the source i'll start with this it's from charlotte tilbury it's uh the color chameleon amber haze for brown eyes eye pencil um they have different ones for different kind of eye looks I think is the basis for like the um variety so there's one for green eyes or catered to green eyes more and like for blue eyes I think this is for brown eyes yeah so I'll start with this on the lid it is a really nice um color so I'll just draw this on okay I love this because it sets it takes about two minutes to set so I'll just Kind of just putting that on the lid. I don't like to go too far up because then it will blend too far up the crease. So I like to put that there. And then I take a small crease brush, just lightly blend that into the crease. Just very, very lightly. Okay. Yeah, so it makes for a nice kind of bronze look on its own you can actually go out um after you blend the crease just put on a bit of mascara just head out i think i've done that before so many <laughs> so many times but i'll do i'll use my favorite um urban decay palette which is <laughs> not the game of thrones palette it is the born to run palette i love 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 this yeah so this palette i love especially for a kind of neutral look it's just very versatile so um, it's got like that shade, that shade, and that, and even this one. So they they make a really nice neutral kind of looks, but with a bit of color as well. See that copper is so beautiful. I love that. Yeah, gorgeous. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and darken the crease a bit. I'll take punk, which is this brown. I love this brown. So I'll just take this. Just stamp it onto the um, crease like this, just to deepen the crizzle, especially on the outside here. I like to use a brush that looks like this, so you can just kind of go straight in the crease like this, so I like that. Then I'll take a brush like so this is also a kind of crease defining brush but it is a blending brush uh, sometimes i just go ahead and do that but i like to go and take riff which is a lighter brown i don't know i just like to use deep browns to um blend deeper browns out especially if i want the look to be not too much kind of thing so just going to blend that out a bit more brown whatever's left on the brush really so just go ahead and put that in there again slightly blend that out so after that i take smog which is this this is actually sold as an individual shadow it's actually quite a popular um urban decay shadow i think so i'll take this it's a nice bronzy color like and then I'll just tap it on where I put the um, eye pencil, which is dry now, but they are very similar in colour, so that's why I chose this. Tap it on like this, you can instantly see how it intensifies that smog. I mean, you don't have to do the um, eye pencil before this, but what I like about the eye pencil, it makes the shadow last all day, guaranteed. Like, it, it's not going anywhere, it's not creasing. I guess that's the purpose of a an eyeshadow primer as well but I think it also intensifies the lid color especially if you're using shadows that are similar in in color like the pencil is similar to the shadow okay so yeah just tap that on lastly take a little brush like so just to highlight the inner eye corner I'll take stranded a nice 
kind of champagne gold but it's it's very nice and goldy i love this one i'll stick that in the inner eye corner ever so subtle and i don't mind if it goes on the bottom there as well it's all good just to brighten up the eye and again if you wanted you can just go ahead and put on a bit of mascara head out the door and this will be it but i'll take it a step further you know um just a bit further i'll take riff which is that brown that i use to blend out the brown in the crease i'll just do that for my lower lash line oh you can't see <laughs> sorry So I've just kept this really close to the lash line. You can blow it out, smoke it out if you want. Right, so the eyes are twins now, more or less. And again, you could just put on a bit of mascara and head out the door, but I want to take it just a step further. I want I want the look to be more intense, just a bit more intense. So I'll just go in with the uh, Moroccan Core Eye Pencil from Charlotte Tilbury or whatever eye pencil that you know that you have. It's a black one. You can use a brown one if you don't want things too intense, but I'll just go on right on my um, line here with this just to make things a bit more intense. Oh, I actually like to use a, a brush, you know, just go and do that. I don't know where I saw this, but I like to just because then because then your finger won't mess with the. Um, okay it's just a very subtle uh, difference but it is more intense on this side and I like the rock and cool pencil because it sets so it will last all day it won't dry it won't um it won't smudge on you and also on the top there it's just kind of roughly go on there I promise I do it a lot better when I'm not filming but ah oh, I keep poking my eye usually I just hold up my lid like so go on the top there I'll use the um full, full fat lashes mascara it's from Charlotte Tilbury still using the sample size I love this to death uh and I was actually thinking the other day because sometimes you just kind of sit and wonder about mascara <laughs> sometimes I do uh I thought um next to this I really love the uh perversion mascara from um, Urban Decay. That's a really good one for me personally, um, second to this, but yeah, so <laughs> just put this on because everyone's lashes are different, everyone's looking for different things in a lash look, but Right, so I'll just do my false lashes last because they take a while to put on. So I'll just go in with the lipstick. I'll use the um, lip liner. Chestnut from MAC. I like to do my lip pencil like this because I feel like you get a uh, better definition. So I just do that. So I'll, I'll do a kind of brown nude-ish lip. This is 1993. It's from Urban Decay. And it is, it says a comfort matte finish, which is kind of nice. It literally is a comfortable matte finish. So I like this because it is, sometimes I use Whirl from MAC, which is also quite a popular one. And it literally looks like, um, <laughs> it literally kind of, well, this one's a bit more rosy, the um, Whirl. It has a bit more pink in it this is more brown this one has a bit more shine they're both kind of matte and if I want a kind of a bit more color I'll take saw this is from Mac too I think it's from the Mac art library collection I, just, I didn't even know that I just found it on Pinterest and I thought it was such a beautiful shade so this one's saw <laughs> yeah so saw is what I go for if I want a bit more like a bit more color I'm just laughing because they look literally almost similar but but I'll use 1993 from Urban Decay wow is that it like this is um I've actually run out or oh, I'm running out so I need to get another one let's go on the center like these okay so oh 
Okay, so lastly, you know, the icing, literally. On the cake, I'll use a bit of Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. This is the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator. So, just take it on my fan brush. Tippity tops. I watch too much Samantha Ravindor, like I'm saying tippity tops. <laughs> okay, so, not too much. I have to um, remind myself that this is has to be conducive to a work environment so not too much just like pop just a bit on the highest point I'm a call up Ryan I'm a FaceTime guy I'm a text Lorenzo and I'm a Leah yeah, so that's just a bit of highlighter on. I just get so excited when I've done, you know, when I finish doing my makeup, I'm so excited that everybody does, I think, right? So if mascara is all you're doing, this is the end of the road, you know? But I can't let go <laughs> of false lashes, so I'll just do my false lashes now and I'll see you in. Right, so I used the duo uh, brush on adhesive with vitamin, so okay. <laughs> the one in dark. <laughs> So it looks like this. This is my favourite glue ever. So that's what I use. The lashes I used are these from, um, it says foam ink lashes from Jimire. I'll link them below. They're just from Amazon. And it's my first pair that I've tried and I like them. I thought they'd be too big, but they're all right, right? So this is a finished look. Um, yeah. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave in the comments whatever suggestions, questions you might have. And yeah, or if you just want to leave me a, a nice little heart. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm just, well, well. <laughs> Next question. Anyway, yeah, so... Um, I post on Thursday and Sunday and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Toodles.